Lamborghini is a manufacturer known for making some of the best looking supercars out there. They make crazy cars that you will find as the wallpaper on many of our computers. From the doors to the sharp edges, all the way to the sound, Lambos scream look at me. Now if you are blessed enough in life to own one, gifting yourself a Lamborghini is one way to embrace the fact that you have made it in life. But what does a company like Lamborghini do when they want to make something extreme? Well, they built this. First, a small history lesson. In 1963, Ferruccio Lamborghini established Automobile Lamborghini with one goal to build world-class supercars that could compete against the very best. And now they have achieved just that. I mean, Lamborghini produced cars like the Countach, the Mercia Lago, the Diablo. I mean, the list goes on and on. So when Lamborghini turned 50 in 2013, they decided to build the Veneno to commemorate the Italian car maker's 50th birthday. The Lamborghini Veneno was the idea of then CEO Stefan Winkelmann, a man known for having a sort of superpower. You see, he had this ability to target wealthy clients. I mean, here are some of the cars this man is responsible for. The Revington, which went for $1.4 million. The Centenario, a $2 million Lambo. And he also spent some time working for Bugatti, where he made a few ultra rare versions of the Chiron. So we had one of the best supercar manufacturers out there, paired with a man that knows how to make an ultra rare, super special supercar. The result? Well, this was and still is the most expensive Lamborghini ever built. The car sold for between 4 and 4.5 and million a piece. And in 2019, one sold at auction for 8.3 million, making it one of the most expensive supercars money could buy. But what did you get for all of this money? Well, you got an Aventador in a dress. I joke, of course, but the Veneno does share a lot of underpinnings from the Aventador. Even the engine is from an Aventador. Not that that is a bad thing, I mean, this engine is awesome. The sounds and the flames, I mean, this is one of the best production engines ever, in my opinion. Now, they did mess around a bit with the engine by adding larger air intakes and a different exhaust system, and all of these changes pushed the total power output to just over 740 horsepower. But adding 40 horsepower to an engine doesn't explain why the Veneno costs 10 times more than a Aventador. Onto the tailor-made dress that she is wearing. The Veneno's design was the subject of a huge debate in the automotive world when it debuted. Many petrol heads still believe that this is one of the ugliest cars to ever leave the Italian factory's floors. Me personally, the front end, I'm like, it's okay, but from the back, this thing looks menacing and I love it. But you see, the car looks this way for a reason. All of these vents and the other aero elements serve a purpose. The front of the car is designed for maximum airflow and improved downforce. The redesigned front and rear arches direct air around the car in order to reduce excess lift and aid in generating downforce. The smooth underbody ensures that the airflow is not interrupted. There is also a motorsport inspired adjustable rear wing that further improves aerodynamics. The body is also lighter than the one you will find on the Aventador. The monocoque and all exterior parts are made out of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, while the front and rear subframes are made out of aluminium. This means that the V12 powered supercar has a dry weight of around 3,190 pounds or 1.4 tons, which makes it around 300 pounds lighter than an Aventador. Still doesn't explain the price tag though, but this does. In 2013, Lamborghini only made four Veneno coupes. They kept one to put in their museum and sold the other three to customers. So there are only three coupes available in the world. Then in 2014, they built nine roadsters. This means that there is a total of 13 Venenos on the planet, making this one of the rarest cars you could buy. So if you ever see one, you are one of a few. Even just having the privilege to see one of these makes you super lucky and I feel it's almost like finding a four leaf clover. It must be a good omen to see something that is this rare. But let me know down below what you think of the Lamborghini Veneno. Do you think it is worth the insane price tag? I mean, I understand with the rarity that it's that expensive, but like, I mean, you can buy like the Aventador Altamaya that makes more power and it's probably going to be faster and it's just going to be better all around. It's just not as rare and it's going to be like a tenth of the price less than a tenth of the price actually when you think about it because these go for almost 10 million now so yeah it's a bit insane
But yeah, let me know down below what you think. If you liked this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. If you did like this video, you like all the other stuff on my channel since like everything is correlated. So if you like cars, this is the place to be. Just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?